Now I'm going to walk you through a scenario. Post which I'm going to show you how add the rate feature annotation helps us in that particular scenario. If you look at what I've got, I've got one Apex class within which I've got one Apex method. And the scenario is for some reason I have to insert a new record into account object, post which I have to insert a new record into user object. And this is the code which is related to inserting a new record into account object. And I also have got code which is related to inserting a new user record. I'm going to paste it. And if you look at what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to query the profile object, post which I'm trying to query the user role object, post which I'm trying to instantiate user object by passing in all the necessary values to its fields, post which I'm finally using the insert command here. So this code is used to insert a new account record and this code is used to insert a new user record. Now when I go ahead and when I try to invoke this method, it is going to throw an error. Let me save this. Let me fire up the execute anonymous window. And here I'm going to say class name dot method name. Class name is accounts controller dot method name is foobar. When I execute this, it is going to throw an error, which is nothing but mixed DML operation. And the reason why it is trying to throw this error is in Salesforce, we have a stipulation and that stipulation is we cannot have DML statements both on setup object and non setup object in a single method. When I say setup objects, I'm referring to objects like profile, user role, user, so on and so forth. And when I say non setup objects, I am referring to rest of the other S objects, which doesn't fall into the bucket of setup objects. So whenever we have DML statements, both on setup objects and non setup objects in a single method, then it is going to throw mixed DML exception. And that is when at the rate feature comes to our rescue. That is, I'm going to remove this code and the entire code will be moved to a new method in a different class. The method name is insert user with role and this method is going to accept four parameters and these parameters are used within this business logic and if you look at the parameters the first one is username second one is alias name third one is email fourth one is last name these are the ones that I have used for last name email alias and username so the entire business logic is moved to a different method in a different class and this method is made asynchronous by using add the future annotation and then from here i'm going to say util dot method name and i have to pass four parameters first parameter being username which is going to be something like this and second parameter is going to be email i believe alias name alias name is going to be this and followed by that third parameter is going to be email which is going to be this and the fourth parameter is going to be last name which is going to be something like this and now what happens is whenever we use add the rate future annotation this method will be made asynchronous so this business logic will be executed in a different thread from the usual thread so whenever user tries to invoke this method execution comes here and it is going to invoke this statement which is nothing but instantiating account s object and then inserting the record and followed by that a call will be made to this method and based on the availability of the system resources this method gets executed now this business logic and this business logic is not within the same thread and since the business logic on setup objects is in a different thread and the business logic on non setup objects is in a different thread it is not going to cause any mixed dml exception i'm going to save this and when i try to invoke the method by using this notation it is going to invoke the method and it is going to execute the business logic within the method without throwing any DML exceptions. So this is how add the future comes to our rescue. That's all for this episode and I'll see you in the next one.